What happens when a supermassive black hole grows so fast and shines so fiercely that it breaks the usual limits of physics? Astronomers may have just found the most extreme example, yet a quasar called ID830ID, Ocho Tres Zero, sits at a redshift of 3.43, meaning we see it as it was over 12 billion years ago. And according to new observations from the SPECTRRG spacecraft and multiple ground-based telescopes, this object is now the most X-ray luminous radio loud quasar ever detected. Quasars are cosmic beacons powered by supermassive black holes. Ido ochenta y tres cero minuto s. Total luminosity reaches one quindecillion. Erge per seconda number so huge. It almost defies comprehension. That means either it hosts an ultra-heavy black hole, or it's feeding faster than black holes are supposed to. The team, led by Sakiko Abuchi, combined X-ray data, ultraviolet, and optical spectra, and radio observations from LOFR, GMRT, ASKAP, first, and v What they found is astonishing. ID830 is in a super Eddington accretion phase meaning it's devouring matter 1.4 times faster than the theoretical safe limit. Its black hole weighs about 440 million suns, and yet it's producing an extreme X-ray excess, far higher than other Super Eddington quasars, or even the mysterious little red dots found B. Hota W. Even more dramatic, its jet kinetic power is as strong as its radiative power, blasting mechanical energy into its galaxy. Researchers think ID-30 is in a transitional phase, a rare moment, right after an accretion burst, where both the corona and jets are fully energized. It may be the missing link between normal quasars and the rapidly accreting extra weak. Little red dots. In short, ID-30 is a cosmic engine running in overdrive, breaking rules and revealing how supermassive black holes grow in the early universe.